Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today we're doing a quick video on the real rigidity parameter. You might remember the real rigidity parameter from the Lucas supply function video. If you want to go back and refresh your memory on what I'm talking about, feel free to check out that full video. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and talk about just what the heck that phi is or that real rigidity parameter is in the equation pi star is equal to p plus phi y. This is what we call the real rigidity parameter. Again, it's derived from the Lucas supply function and it is related to the elasticity of labor supply in that Lucas supply function. But for our purposes, what it means is that prices do not fully adjust to when we have changes in the output gap. So if we're in a boom or in a recession, if our output gap is getting larger, our output gap is getting smaller, there's some ideal change in price that every firm should do, but that doesn't happen. We say that prices are sticky. There's some slowness in adjusting to those optimal prices. And the measure of that slowness or that responsiveness to changes in the output gap on prices is what we call the real rigidity parameter. So if I have a larger real rigidity parameter, that means I have less real rigidity because I have more responsiveness. And if I have more responsiveness, I have less rigidity. If I have a smaller fee or a smaller real rigidity, I'm going to have less responsiveness, more real rigidity. So again, the real rigidity parameter can range between zero and one. It can't equal zero and it cannot equal one. If it was exactly equal to one, then there would be no rigidity or no stickiness of prices at all. And if it was zero, prices would never, ever be allowed to change. Now, if you're Keynesian, you want a smaller real rigidity parameter because you want to show, you want to demonstrate why prices are sticky in an economy and what that leads to in terms of longer term economic outlook and effects. What can you do? Well, you can add something called capital utilization, where you don't have to change the number of machines. You can change how hard each machine is run. You can add something like a Calvo or Taylor pricing to the labor market. We've talked about both a Calvo and the Taylor market in previous videos. You can add something called menu costs. There's a whole host of things you can do to try and reduce the real rigidity parameter. If there are some in particular you would like to see, leave a comment below. But really what I hope you take away from this video is just a slightly better understanding of what exactly that fear that real rigidity parameter is and what it means. If it was indeed helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time for another case of econ struggles.